I'm so grateful, Coach Al, that you could join Coach Johnny and me. Yeah, I'm man, I'm grateful too. This is a blessing big time. Yeah, but you have a very busy day. What are you gonna do later today? Um, so we're going to be going into CIW and we're going to have a ministry event. Um, it's kind of, it's like good Friday. We're taking in 300, um, 300, um, bags of candy, um, <laughs> like Easter eggs, Hershey chocolates, um, uh, just, just a Kit Kats, a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of stuff, you know, like that for them. Well, uh, okay, here's my question for people who are watching who don't know what CIW is and they don't know what your ministry is. Very short, in a couple sentences, can you break down what is CIW and what, it, what do you mean by ministry? Okay, so it's California Institution for Women and our ministry is Redeemed 2020 Ministries and 80% of our ministry is formerly incarcerated. And what we do is we go, while well, I minister every Sunday morning, um sometimes you know we have i have a little break and somebody will give their testimony on a sunday morning or um uh, fill in to minister but um and all these people that do join us are formerly incarcerated so our ministry focuses on um um formerly incarcerated coming out of prison to continue their relationship with god and it's really relatable um it's like relatable because we could we connect with each other because we we all been in the same uh, place. So we go back into the prisons. Um, we go into Chowchilla. We go into CIW. Um, we're, we're, we're working on an event in um, CIM, California Institutions for Men, where I work. And um, it's just a it's just a blessing uh, big time, you know. Well, I'm so grateful that you're here. And our subject today is the Goki Live Tools in the um, environment of recovery or moving beyond addiction. Now, a, a, by addiction, I'm thinking of a, all types of addiction. And a lot of people are now even addicted to social media. So we're talking about the big scope of addiction, those instances where people seem to lose control over their positive decision-making. I wanted uh, Coach Johnny and I to talk to you. Uh, he's a certified drug treatment counselor, and you did a lot of time uh, behind bars. and really minister to those who have addictions. And I just wanted you to talk a little bit about how the Goki Life Tools can be utilized to help somebody move beyond an addictive tendency. And then I'd love to hear Coach Johnny talk to you a little bit about his perspective. I was, man, I was addicted to many drugs before in the past and um, the gang lifestyle and all that. Uh, was, was the gang lifestyle also an addiction? Oh yeah, it was. Yes. It's a life. It's actually called a lifestyle of addiction, and I was addicted to it. I was addicted to the rush. Um, I'm st like the rush of like, um, not knowing what can happen any moment. You know, when you walk out in the tear, you know, um, not knowing if you know something can happen. You could uh, you, it, it it's it, it was it was an it, it was a definitely addiction, but. I, I still have an addictive behavior. I'm addicted big time, um, but I'm addicted to something different. I'm addicted to surfing. I'm addicted to ministering. I'm addicted to helping people um, find their way, you know, and um, find their way. I'm addicted to help helping people uh, uh, free themselves, you know, mm -hmm. so it, it, it switched. Um, it switched. Um, so understanding that about myself, um, having that addictive behavior, I had to, I had to switch it. You know, I really had to switch it because it wasn't something that was just going to go away. You know, it was something that was still going to continue, you know? Um, and I still, I still, um, chase that it's called an emotional rush An emotional rush is, is, is mixed up with fear and excitement, you know? So going out there and surfing, you know, or ministering on, you know, on Sunday mornings, um, there's, there's a mixture of fear and excitement, you know, a uh, fear of possibly people rejecting me. The excitement is people, man, receiving the word of God. And then 
accepting Jesus Christ, you know, for, for you know, for me, that's like an emotional rush uh, uh, for me, you know. So um, how did you move to service? Did Gogi play a part in those tools in you transitioning from addicted to emotional and fearful high of the gang mentality or drugs to this new life where you are really literally changing the lives of thousands of people through your addiction? So, so there's, there's, there's two things. There's two tools that I love to, that I use all the time. And one of them is um, the boss of my brain. You know, so when I met you in 2015 and, and when I met you in 2015 um, and I started doing the workbooks, the boss of my brain was really, really impactful to me. You know, I had to start making decisions with the smart part of my brain, not the emotional part or not my old habit part, you know, but the other thing the the other that's the that's 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 tool number one but the other tool that i use is um ultimate freedom being free is up to me you know um being like man it's a it's it's a choice you know um and going back into the prisons and helping people uh um well and, and yeah and helping people um that's a choice i don't have to do it if i don't want to you know but it's a choice, but it also helps. It also helps to free me, you know, it, it does. It really does. And when I get, when I see the light bulbs going off, oh man. And then I had, um, four people getting granted parole on, uh, on, 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 on C yard. I had another person got granted parole on Monday. Um, and mm -hmm. over, since I've been going into the prisons, I've had, it's probably, I can't even count, but it's probably like over 20. That's. Yeah. That's, Johnny, that's the reward. Yes. That's I get it. what is being, that's what's being free. That's giving back. That's going, you know. That's the, um, you're feeding the addiction in a different way. Coach. In Johnny, a different way. Yes. Tell me a little bit about, um, when you are working, you're a drug treatment counselor, as well as on our board and running the mail room. Do you help individuals with addictions understand that that energy can be utilized for something positive or is Coach Al's story different from others? I think there's a lot of similarity. I think that he, yeah. uh, there's a common thread that, that he's woven into his life uh, that other people can see as an example. Um, when they see him, they see what freedom looks like. He gets to go back in and I have the opportunity uh, to go in with him to CIW. And um, we've been into other prisons together. And when people can identify somebody who was actually in their shoes, um, what happens is they want the recipe. So um, somebody who loves to eat, if I you know, identify a really good meal, I'm like, what do you put in that? Like, what does that consist of? And when Al and, and me and, and Jessica and some of the other coaches can share how um, serving others has allowed us to actually experience freedom, even while we're in prison. I think that's yeah. a true gift. Um, oftentimes people think, well, I'm in prison, I can't be free. And I've experienced more people out here in society that are incarcerated mentally than some of my brothers and sisters in prison. Would you yeah. say that's true, Al, that you, more individuals who have physical freedom may be trapped in a prison of their own making or a, a different kind of prison? What, what do you think about that? Yeah, so that's one of the things that I talk about all the time. Like I have, um, man, I have a lot of family members and friends. They're still, even though they've been out here their whole lives, they're, they're still trapped. They're still, they're not free. You know, um, they're not free. And um, that's because, oh, man, I can go on and on. They're still trapped in their own bondage. They don't have the tools um, they don't have the tools. They don't, for one, they don't have the gogi tools, you know, uh, uh, um, mm -hmm. to be free. You know, they don't, they don't have it. Like I said, I could, I could give you a whole bunch of different stories. Um, but we, you know, with the gogi tools where I learned to be free, um, while I was inside, you know, I learned to be free while I was inside. Ultimately, you know, I got granted pro I was sharing, um, last night I was doing an introduction last night with um with the cga class and i was telling them that you know what um i was free before i even came out of prison mm -hmm. you know i was free now now i'm like i was free inside prison 
now I am actually physically free. You know, I'm living a life of freedom. Yeah, Coach Johnny, is that your experience too? Uh, Coach Al says, I was free before I even got out of prison. What what are, what are your thoughts on that being, I mean, some individuals that don't understand are going to say, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Can you speak to that for a second? Yeah, so um, I had the same belief when I first heard that concept of being free in prison. Um, one thing that you shared with me when you first walked in in 2010 in the Solidarity State Prison was um, your freedom is up to you. You know, being free yeah. is up to me. And um, if you want to be free, be of service to your community. And I didn't know what that meant. And I was like, does she understand we're in prison? And um, as I continued to learn the tools of Bogey and facilitate and share them with others, I would go to visit and then people would be like, mom or their spouse or their kids would be like, this is the guy that helped me come home. And I realized in that moment, like, that's what true freedom is look, looks like. That's what I've been searching for my whole life when I was gangbanging and getting involved in, you know, drugs and alcohol and crime and violence. Like, that's the feeling I was searching for, that feeling of freedom. Yeah. Uh, Coach Al, I have a question. This may be seen by somebody sitting in an eight-foot cell. It may be seen by somebody on YouTube scrolling in the middle of the night. And if somebody really, really really wanted to change, they really were tired, but their lifestyle, their choices, their addictions have them boxed into defining things, themselves as stuck or it's impossible. Can you talk for a moment to that person, that one person who is ready, give them some solid concrete steps. How can they use their tools to, to have a sense of freedom like you and Coach Johnny and Joy? That one person, sitting there saying, it sounds nice, but how do I do it? So for me, I can share my life, ex you know, my life experience and what I did. It's, and, and you know, um, I share this, you know, pretty, uh, um, you know, blatantly is like, man, for, for me, I gave my life to Christ. You know, I said, okay, you know what, God, from now on, you just, you just lead the way. But at the same time, there was tools that were provided to help me you know, that, that helped me, um, um, be free, you know? Um, and, you know, we were in the meeting the other day with, uh, or a couple of weeks ago with, um, I think his name is Michael Flores, right? My, uh, and so we're in this meeting with him, with the CRM. And I said, and I said it, I said that, man, that, um, you know, for me, I see that God's hand is on these tools is on the, on Gogi. He has like, uh, um, He's um he's 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 provided these for us to make a way to be free, you know, and I use them. I use them um daily. I use the boss of my brain daily. I use what if daily. I use ultimate freedom, you know, going giving giving back, going giving back. It's not about the paycheck. It's not about, you know, it's 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 just doing um that type of work that makes that makes me free. But it didn't start. When I paroled. It started when I was inside. It started just like just like Johnny said, like you know, just like Johnny said right now. It started when I was inside, yeah, uh, giving back, uh, uh, sharing the Gogi tools with with other people, uh, um, um, leading um, other self help classes, you know, and then you know, for me, it was uh, ministering that also helped me um, to be free. But that's also in in that's also in uh, um, you know. In in um the twelfth tool of of ult being of ultimate freedom, you know, for me that's what really um helped me to, to be to be to be free, you know. So that's my advice to them, you know. When I go back in there, I go back in there four days a week, you know, and I I facilitate um uh seven different classes, and that's one of the things that I try to empower them with. I empower them and say, hey, you know what? give back give back like step up be a leader and help to give back so uh, in in recapping what i'm hearing you say coach al for you it was finding your uh, purpose your spiritual purpose your religion dedicating your life to something greater than yourself and then mm -hmm. being of service and knowing that you are the boss of your brain i also heard you say that you have an addictive tendency that's just part of your personality and yep. now you are addicted to 
service and your worship of God and, and following the beliefs of your religion and surfing. Um, mm -hmm. in, in, and, in, yes. And surfing and riding my dirt bike and riding <laughs> a Harley and, you know, um, those type, those type of things. Uh, the best yeah. decisions possible. I really, really love it. I am so proud of you. And I know that the women uh, that experience your company will feel inspired. And I actually know that anybody watching this video who's contemplating real, true, sincere, lasting life changes, it's a scary thing. It's scary. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But it's individuals like you who can prove that it's easier than it might seem. Uh, I think that's very important. So thank you for that. Can, can I let me say something really quick? Yeah. Um, so if this is going to be going inside, I want to share really quick that I spent sure. 13 and a half years total in the shoe, 13 and a half years total in the shoe. Um, and uh, uh, now not everybody knows what shoe is. This might be shown in Kentucky. Segregated housing unit. And, and what does that mean? That means that I was put in there. It's a, a base, basically isolation, you know? So uh, they put That's me in why. isolation because why? of the because of the um the gang stuff that I used to be involved in the past but one uh, uh, one thing that I do want to share is um after I decided to change my life God made a way for me to come out I'm not supposed to be out here today mm -hmm. and I I ended up paroling in 2020 and in, and and since then since then I got I got married since then I've had a son. My my son is 10 months. He's going to be 10 months old. I have another daughter on the way. That's going to be, uh, 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 that's, uh, uh, I think she's about four months pregnant. I probably got the date wrong. Four months pregnant. I got a daughter on the way. You know, I go back into the prisons and uh, I go back into the prisons being of service. I've been to CMC. I've been to Lancaster. I've been to Chowchilla. I go there often. Um, and I work and I, I go in there. Uh, I work at um, uh, Chino prison. I go into CIW and I minister once a month. Like, man, that's, that's ultimate freedom, you know? And I've only been out three years. I have a nice truck. I ride, a, I have a Harley Davidson. I have a dirt bike. And I started off with one surfboard. Oh, that's my favorite one up there. But now I have 11. That's an addictive personality that, but I switched <laughs> over. Can anyone something. do it, Coachelle? Are you... Are you the only person that can do it or can the guy or the woman sitting there listening to you, can they do it? They can do it. They can do it. You, I mean, every, everybody can do it, you know? And I always tell, I always let everybody inside know like, man, just, just dream, you know, but you have dream, dream. It's okay to dream, you know, but what are you doing today to make that dream come true? I love that. Coach John, you know? what are a couple closing words from you? Um, you know, just understanding the concept of if being free is up to me, yep. what choices am I making today to make that freedom possible? I love it. Um, I'm so grateful to both of you for joining me uh, and having this conversation. A addiction of all forms is debilitating and discouraging. And I do believe that both of you have given any of the viewers ample um, belief or ample realization that change and lasting change is possible. And for that, I'm very grateful. So go be for life. Go be for life. All right, Amen. guys. Thank you again. You're welcome. Thank you, Coach Taylor. Thank you, Coach Johnny. We'll see you soon. Go be talking this. I got the tools to live by. T O T I. T O T I. Go be talking this. I got the tools to live by. T O T I. T O T I. Go be talking this. I got the tools to live by. T O T I. T O T I. Go be talking this. I got the tools to live by. I got the tools to live by. G O G I, G O G I, go get on this. I got the tools to live by. G O G I, G O G I, go get on this. I got the tools to live by. G O G I, G O G I, go get on this. I got the tools to live by. G O G I, G O G I, go get on this. I got the t